Hi, welcome to How to Repair. On one of the chat forums today, I came across a person that was asking me, could he make a filtration mask out of a cooker hood filter? And I thought, hmm, no. I did a little bit of research on the internet, just looking at what was the best material. And I found that Cambridge University in 2009, with the flu epidemic that was going around then, did a study and the second best material after face masks was vacuum cleaner bags. Now we're going to make a simple mask. I'd like to point out I'm no seamstress so the mask is very basic. You will find much better templates on the internet but we're going to use a simple Henry Hoover bag to make a mask. All you're going to need is a pair of scissors. I'm using a staple gun because I can't sew to save my life and some simple elastic bands. As you will see in the images that I'm putting up now, as you can see in the chart that you're seeing on the screen now, vacuum cleaner bags were voted number two best material and here is what I found on the internet that they wrote. So what you're actually going to need is a hoover bag This should be enough to create at least two masks. Uh, I'm, because I've got plenty of them, as I'm a domestic appliance uh, shop, I'm just going to cut the bag into a format of about 10 by 6. And I'm just going to cut it down the seam there, and then cut it down the seam there. I've already done this, and what I've done is just fold the two edges over, as I said earlier, I'm not a seamstress, so please excuse my uh, build quality. And I'm going to fold it down into the basic shape. I've cut some edges here, which I'm just going to put over. And then I'm going to just fold that over the edge there to give it some reinforcement. And I'm going to use the staple gun. You girls will be able to do this much better with a sewing machine. And guys, sorry. And then I'm going to do the other side. That gives me the basic mask. And then because I have a large head, I'm using two elastic bands, just putting them through, so it creates one. And there we have the basis of the mask. And there you go, a simple mask. Remember, I'm an appliance engineer, not a seamstress, so you'll find far better videos on the internet on how to actually make your mask. There's some great templates which I've seen out there, uh, but there you go. And when the coronavirus is over and we all get back to normal, you're more than welcome to shop with us to replace your Hoover bags. Thanks very much indeed for watching. And remember, stay safe. Thanks again for watching.